Guess what, guys? I'm back in the kitchen. I need to use the squasher. So, I'm going to make Grandma's yellow squash casserole. This is very simple, easy, and it's yummy. So, all you're going to do is cut your squash up. And if you have a, a steamer, it's always better to cook this in, put this in a steamer and cook it, but I don't got one, so I've done it like this many times, and it turns out just, just great. So you're just going to cut your squash up, and I'm making a, a small casserole dish of it, so uh, if I was making this for a family, I would probably use... I don't know, four or five squash, but I'm not, it's just for me, so. And my squash, you know, of course you wash it and, and you do not peel it. You don't want to peel your squash. This is really, really a good, uh, casserole to use up the end of your squash or I made it made it one time for uh, Christmas it was a little bit different than what I'm making today but still yummy grandma made them made squash casserole several different ways I got this little onion I need to use Use that poor little thing. It's been used here and there and tossed in the refrigerator and back out. So we're going to use this sucker up today. I'm glad y'all are here with me. Hope y'all are doing okay today. It's going to be another hot one. You know, it's gotten so hot, Bailey don't even want to go out. Uh, we run out and she does her bathroom business and we come back in. It's just too hot. Would it be weird to say this, this casserole is refreshing? It's just, it's just awesome. I love this. Love this casserole. And a lot of times I'll just sit down with a plate of it and that's my supper. A little gnat flying around me. Okay, so I got my squash and got my my uh, onion. Right back, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to clean up as I go. That way I'm not in such a mess later on. But I'm just going to sprinkle some salt in on here. Use as much as you want. I'm not measuring nothing. And then I'm going to go over here and get some tap water. want to cook this down you don't want it mushy uh or i don't you know if you like it that way that's fine but uh you don't want it mushy you just want it you know cook down soft and then all we're gonna do after that we'll drain this and uh you want Leave of Ritz crackers, and I got the uh, these are the lower salt ones. You want a sleeve of Ritz crackers, you're going to use a cup of sour cream. I may not have quite a cup, but I'm sure it'll turn out fine. And then you'll want some shredded cheese. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook. 
and I'll bring you back when this gets ready to uh, mix together. Like I say, squash, onion, salt in your water, sour cream, Ritz crackers, cheese, oh, and an egg. We'll need an egg. And that's it, guys. That doesn't make a delicious uh, little casserole for me tonight. Bring y'all back here in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab my squash and I'm going to drain it. Y'all, I'm going to turn this dishwasher off. I'm sorry. I, I was not even paying no attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna, just going to drain my squash and onions. Woo, that's hot. Make sure all your water is out. Okay. Bring y'all back over here. And I've uh, added butter to my bacon dish. So now, all I'm going to do is break up my egg. Your egg is just to kind of bind it. I had the dishwasher run, run in the happy uh, what the dryer running I told my son I said I'm I'm ready for a trip he said mom he's in a oh Brazil right now and he said mom you and baby just just go somewhere and I then I got all this farm vegetables and stuff that I need to get together, you know, get put up. And whew, I'm, I think I'm about done, though. I don't know. You just want to put some cheese and then your sour cream. It costs for a cup. I'm not sure if I've got a cup, so I'm just going to put it in there. If it's extra, that's fine. If it's not, that's fine. The good thing about stuff like this is a good way to use up your, uh, you know, your little bits of this and that that you got left. And then my wrist crackers, I'm going to put them in this baggie and I'm just going to kind of crunch them up. So we had a little shower this morning. This thing will want to open. Uh, a little bitty one. Wasn't much nothing. I know a lot of people are complaining about their ponds and stuff drying up around here, but you know, what do you do? You don't have to, you can get a rolling pin out or a hammer if you want to, but uh, these crunch up pretty easy. And I, no, I don't have, I've got my oven on. Preheat and 350. I thought I'd done turn it on, but I remember now I turned the uh, dishwasher off. I like to say, you don't, they don't have to be real fine. And I like to add a little in my squash also. And, okay, let me just mix this together. This is really an easy recipe. So it's something, you know, and you can, you can do a, you can use zucchini also. You'd rather use zucchini. I'm just going to pour my squash in here with the butter. I'm going to add some crackers in with this mixture. Not much. 
So we'll give it a little crunch. And then you're just going to pour this mixture over your squash. And kind of stir it together. I want all that delicious, deliciousness in there. Let me get a spoon. That might be, work better, that might not. Think about all my dishes are in the uh, dishwasher. This is gonna be so good. There's another one that Grandma fixed, and uh, it had carrots, shredded carrots in it. And that's real good, too. There are several she made. She made, and I think I've got one of them on my, on my channel. Uh, I believe I do. I had made it with the stovetop stuffing. And sour cream and I think cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. I think it's cream of chicken. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. But I didn't have all those ingredients, so I thought I'd just whip up this one. I, have, I like my stuff cheesy. And you want to kind of put your cheese down. And remember, the squash is already cooked, basically. Unless you, unless you like it, mushy, mushy, mushy. But I, I don't. A little bit more cheese. And you can use you can use any kind of cheese you like, but I've always used the uh, the cheddar. Oh my God, it's bitches. And uh, you can also add zucchini in. No, do it with zucchini. Or you can mix it. Uh, Mamma a lot of times would mix it. And then you gonna put your crackers on top. So, oh, that looks like a lot of crackers. It kind of is, but I, I like it like that. And you can put your crackers first and your cheese last. However you want to do it. This is this is something. It's a very forgiving recipe. If you want to do it one way, do it. All right, my stove still hadn't heated up. So I went to Goodwill yesterday, and uh, I found the prettiest. Curtain. I, I think it's curtain. I'm pretty sure it's a curtain. It was kind of odd made, but uh, a fall, for fall, we were going to make me a, a, a tote bag for fall out of that. It's really pretty. You can add some pepper on it also if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. Whatever you want. Like I say, make make this your way. It's just an easy, simple way to use up your uh, your garden squash, y'all squash zucchini, um, and it's good. My kids, when they were little, my mom would fix this, and uh, you know how kids are with squash, especially. My kids absolutely love this. And uh, that's when I started. I started making it for Christmases and stuff because they they liked it so well. And then, of course, the boys grew, and I didn't cook it that much anymore, here and there. And then I started making it for Christmas, and uh, so I've continued on, and I love it. Okay, so. 
I'm not cooking as much today as I have been. I have been on a cooking spree. I don't know what's going on with me. Of course, it's I've had to use up this stuff, uh, these vegetables, and uh, but I I know one thing. When I go next time to the farmers market, I know not to buy as much as I did this time. But a lot of times they sell them in the little, you know, little boxes and stuff. And you can't just ask for one or two, you know. They're, I mean, there are some farmers there that do do that. But uh, when I went last Saturday, it was so packed out and stuff. And I just seen these boxes and stuff and I'd pick them up. But I entirely got too much. I've still got... Still got a zucchini, and I think I got two small yellow squash left. After filling my freezer up with yellow squash and green tomatoes, uh, I've got a cabbage left, and I've got some zucchini, a couple small yellow squash, cabbage, and these banana peppers. I still got those left. My aunt sent me a, how to fix them, how to, you know, uh, deep prime and stuff, but I just, I don't know, I might get time tonight, I might not. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to put it in the oven, and we're going to let her cook. Hope y'all are still here with me. We're going to let it cook maybe... I don't know. I'll keep it on at probably 20, 25 minutes. Like I say, the squash is basically done, but you want everything to incorporate. Of course, it's got an egg in it, so you want to make sure that's cooked. But I'll bring y'all back here in a little bit. Okay, so I took it out of the oven. Uh, let me find the spoon real quick. I can't believe how many of my dishes are dirty. And you can take a piece of tinfoil. I, I had to uh, kind of just tint the top. If you don't want your crackers burnt, I, I mean, I didn't want mine burnt, so I, that's what I did. Oh, y'all, this is so good. Okay. And I remember this dish is just as good cold as it is hot. Either way, it's delicious. Oh, it's really hot. You see all that deliciousness? Mm -mm -mm. Let's try this baby out. It's really hot. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. This is really good. So tonight for supper. I think I'm gonna have a. I'm not gonna cook a big old meal because I've got this, and then uh, I might fix like a hamburger patty or something, and that's it. That's all I'm doing tonight. Let's see that. It's so good. Mmm. Y'all give it a try. Let me know how you like it. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna rest up. I might even we might even take a nap. Love y'all. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, and I will talk to y'all later.